Hello there, this is Archbishop Sok Villegas, greeting you from the Archdiocese of Lingue and the Gupan, welcoming you to the Light of Faith. The question for today is about the sacrament of matrimony. We Filipinos have attended many weddings. We have attended many ceremonies of matrimony. And uh, we hardly understand what the ceremonies represent for us. What are the symbolisms when we get married in the church in the Philippines? First and foremost, the first symbol is the couple themselves. This man, this woman, marching up the aisle are signs of the presence of God in us. That is why the bride wears white and the groom is dressed in the best that he can because both of them are signs of Jesus in our Christian community. And then the symbol is extended into the words. They will say, yes. The most important word is yes. But the yes was not first uttered by the couple. The first one to say yes is Jesus. He said yes to us even before we were born, even before we were conceived in our mother's womb. And then we have the wedding ceremony itself. There is the wedding ring. A ring is always round. It has no beginning. It has no end. Such should be your love for one another. Such should be our love for one another. It has no beginning. It has no end. The greatest measure of love is to love without measure. The, second, the next symbol is the veil. The veil is always white. White is the color of purity. And even if there are two persons getting married, a man and a woman, there is only one veil because the veil symbolizes unity. The first time we were dressed in white was when we were baptized. The church clothed us in white as a sign of our new beginning. Matrimony is something like a new beginning. That is why the man and the woman are dressed in white once again, symbolizing a fresh start. The veil covers the head of the woman, while the veil covers the shoulders of the man. Why? Because they are only one body. If there is only one body, there is only one head, and the head of that family is the man, is the husband. Because a body that has two heads is a monster. So it is the duty of the wife to respect the headship of the husband as Christ is the head of the church. And then we will put the cord over the veil. The cord is a yugal. The, the, the cord is like a yoke that we used to put on the carabao or the cow when we use those animals to plow the fields. If you put the yoke on the carabao or the cow on yourself, you're going to feel its weight because it is heavy. Such is love. Such is married life. Sometimes it can be heavy. Sometimes it can be burdensome, but we, we can look forward to a life of bliss, life of blessings, because those who live in love live in God. There comes a time, my dear brothers and sisters, especially the married couples here, when looking at your wedding pictures no longer excites us, but brings us a lump in the, in the throat or brings tears into our eyes. When that time comes, remember that sometimes love can be a burden, life can be a cross to carry, but it is light. It is light and it is bearable because Jesus will carry it for us. In the Philippines, 
the man and the woman are given array by the priest. Array are actually coins, signs of prosperity. It is put on the two hands of the groom and then the bride receives it with her both hands also. It is a symbol of prosperity coming from God. It is also a symbol of the providence that the husband accepts and the husband promises to give the wife and the children that God will give them. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, the next time you attend a wedding, remember the love of the groom for the bride is a symbol of the love of Jesus for all of us. That is why, my dear husbands, my dear future husbands, my dear grooms, please remember, when you are up there in the altar, you are a sign of God's love, the love of Christ for the church. And be careful with what you say, be careful with what you do, be careful with your thoughts, because your thoughts, your actions, your life should be that of Christ. It is very difficult to stay focused and prayerful and reflective during the wedding rite because the camera is always watching, the photographers are always watching. But I encourage you, stay focused and appreciate each and every part of the wedding ritual because this ritual will carry you through into your life, into your life together. Lastly, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ, when a man and a woman get married, their commitment is to be saints together. They must be saints together and make their children saints together with them. The call to matrimony is a vocation from God. I was called to be a priest. Some are called to be husbands. Some are called to be wives. Some are called to be nuns. But we all have different vocations from the Lord. But we have only one vocation. As a husband, be holy. As a wife, be holy. As a priest, be holy. As a nun, be holy. Because holiness is the call for all of us. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, let us pray for all married couples. And let us pray that all married couples follow Jesus and embrace the path of holiness. Thank you for being with us at the Light of Faith and let us continue to pray for each other. Let us continue to pursue the path of holiness.